What um, came, gave you the idea to create the program? Well, my son died in March of this year um, of sudden cardiac arrest, and I decided I did not want anybody else to die of sudden cardiac arrest. So I, my husband and I became CPR certified instructors to the American Red Cross and decided we wanted to go into the, into the schools, into the high schools, and teach it free of charge to the students. Um, that way we can get a lot of people certified and a lot of people who know CPR and save a lot more lives that way. So you started it for your foundation. Now is it just you and your husband, or is there other people in d separate, like, uh, different communities helping, or is it just right you Right now it's just my husband and I, and we do um, ask some friends and families to come and help us once in a while when we need the help. Uh, we're also going to be... Um, interacting with the county EMSA, which is the County Emergency Services Association, and they're also going to be helping us in the future. But that's still probably going to be a few months out. How long have you been doing the program? We just started. As of September 16th, we started with Templeton High School, and we did 200 freshmen and sophomores there. We certified 200, um, 200 freshmen and sophomores. And then we're here at Paso High from now through the end of October, through October 31st should be our last day here. And then we go back to Templeton and we do another 200 at Templeton and we also are going to Shandon to do the whole school, which is only 70 students. But we're still gonna be doing the whole school. Um, after that, we're gonna be in touch with the Tascadero and Cambria and starting to move more toward the south of the county. And so, uh, what's your overall goal for the um, program? To reduce the number of deaths from sudden cardiac arrest. Right now, the survival rate in this county of sudden cardiac arrest, and sudden cardiac arrest is not a heart attack. It's, sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical malfunction of the heart, and it can happen to anyone from infants through elderly. And it typically strikes athletes is who we hear it most on. Um, my son was very athletic. He was um, not overweight. He was healthy. He had no signs or symptoms. He just collapsed and died. So I don't want this to happen to anybody else. The survival rate in this county is between 5 and 7 percent right now from sudden cardiac arrest. In the towns that have done mass CPR training, they have managed to raise that to 47 percent, and that's what my goal is. So this year we're hoping to teach at least 4,000 high schoolers. Before